All right, David Harry here, and in this video, I am going to show you how to set up the resolution and the frame rate for the video output when you have got your Red Magic Nova gaming tablet connected to an external monitor or maybe even an external recording system. And this could be via HDMI or DisplayPort. It doesn't matter. The process is exactly the same. So the first thing we need to do is to tap on settings. So just going to go to settings here then what we need to do is go to connected devices so i'm just going to tap on connected devices now from here on this side we need to tap on z smart cast so i'm just going to tap onto there now we just need to scroll up this page a little bit now at the bottom we've got settings here so we need to tap on settings so there we go settings now from here we need to tap on to hdmi dp screencasting so i'm just going to tap onto there and then from here what we need to do then is to tap onto wired screencast hdmi dp display mode so let me just tap into there and then we are going to be presented with all the options that we have got available to us for whatever it is that we are connected to so let me just go through these options here so as far as 1080 is concerned we've got 1080 60 hertz as an option 1080 120 hertz 1080 240 hertz and then moving up to 1440 we've got 1440 60 hertz 1440 100 hertz 1440 144 hertz and then we have got an option for 60 hertz for 4k uhd now there is in fact another option that we can get here because these particular red magic products can actually send out dci signals so if you just give me one moment okay so i've now just connected my nova to my atomos ninja which is capable of recording dci so let me just show you what happens now so i'm just going to go to the whole process again so settings then connected devices then z smart cast then down to settings then hdmi dp screencast and then wide screencast and now at this point we are now going to see another option at the top here which is 4096 by 2160 and that's at 60 hertz well that's actually 4k dci 60 hertz so that is actually the highest resolution and frame rate that the nova will go to however if we have another look down here suddenly we don't see any of the 1440 options well the reason why that is is because my atomos ninja does not record 1440 so whereas we could see 1440 before that's because my nova it was connected to something that could do 1440 now that it's connected to something that can't do 1440 as we can see here we don't see any of those 1440 resolution options and now just one last quick thing to mention here you will only be able to see all of the resolutions and the frame rates for what you are connected to as long as you are using the correct USB-C to HDMI cable or the correct USB-C to display port cable or indeed using a USB-C dock or a USB-C hub system which is capable of sending through the HDMI signal or the DP or display port signals so to be super clear unless you are using the correct cable or the correct docking system you may not be able to get access access to all of the available frame rates and resolutions that the monitor is capable of that you are connected to or indeed any kind of recording system anyways that will do it for this video now if you've got any interest in the red magic nova or even the red magic 9 pro series of gaming phones you might want to keep an eye out on this channel because i will be doing more videos to do with hardware setups and certain software routines and stuff to do with both the nova and the 9 pro series of phones also if you found this video useful in any way please do give it a thumbs up a sub to the channel would be absolutely awesome and as ever there will be some links in the video description below to some of the stuff that i've used within this video and most notably probably this usb-c docking system that i'm using which has been able to show up all of these frame rates and resolutions that you've seen on the screen i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now.